Hello everyone. In this video, we'll see how to download the Power BI in your desktop. So it is a Power BI desktop version. Just go into any of the browser which you have in your desktop. I have a Google Chrome here. I'll just click on this. And I'll just write Power BI download. So I'll just click on Power BI download. It would be redirected to this page. And we have the first option that is download Microsoft Power BI. So it is provided by the Microsoft. And I'll just scroll a little bit. So we have three options that is Power BI desktop, Power BI mobile, and we have a websites option as well. Okay, so I'll just click on desktop download and it would be redirected to the play store of the microsoft okay so i'll just click on install and it is started the download okay yes you can see here now it has been downloaded and we'll just open the application and it would be redirected to the Power BI application. Yes, it is now visible. So this is the Power BI application where you would be able to visualize each and every component of the data set. Okay, so we have a prompt here that it is a Power BI desktop. And what we have to, like, what can be the first step? So we should integrate it with the data and we have to visualize it properly. So if I just click on the get data, it would be redirected to the this particular prompt and we can connect here several data sources with the de several data sources, nearly about 250 sources, we can connect it. So we have uh, Excel, we have TSV, we have XML, we have JSON, we have uh, the folder. If we want to connect with a folder and it has multiple sheets into it, a same type of sheets, then we can able to connect that data to the Power BI. We can connect with the SQL server database. We can connect several sources with the several sources we can connect and we'll just have to press the connect. So let's connect with the one of the source that is Excel. I'll just click on the Excel workbook and I'll just click on connect. So it would be like selecting from my desktop. And we have several options through which I can connect it with the online databases as well. So there comes web applications, so not web application, webs, uh, websites through which we can collect the data. So it assembles the headings, tables, and all the tags, the data within the tags is being properly segregated. And he creates, the Power BI creates a table through which we can able to visualize it properly. So let us select one of the data set that is sample superstore and this sample superstore data set contains the different columns within that so we will observe what kind of columns it contains so let us uh, just see in the navigator we have three different sheets into it. We have orders, peoples, and returns. So it is a kind of superstore data set. And this superstore data or this particular superstore is situated into the USA. So if I just click on orders, I can able to see the preview of the data, which I would be using to visualize. So it contains the columns that is row ID, each and every rows ID is there. We have order ID. So this particular is a online superstore, I think. And it collects 
each and every orders id or generates each and every orders id and when it is when this order is being placed so it the order date is there to collect when the order is placed and we have another column that is ship date if the if it is ordered we have to ship it the superstore have to ship that particular uh, product to the consumer on a specific period of time so after the 8 it has been shipped by 11 8 9 10 11 after 4 days it has been shipped okay in the another column we have shipping mode so what is observed here is we can see the second class standard class or the first class so this is the mode of delivery which the consumer is being preferred this consumer prefers which kind of delivery or which kind of mode of delivery is being observed so they prefer the second class they prefer the second uh, standard class or they prefer the first class delivery for the urgent basis order so this is a kind of shipping mode we have collected so another thing we have is customer id so in the customer id each and every person has a particular account on this particular superstore's uh, application so they would be giving certain customer id to each and every customer so here the clear guild have uh, this particular id is being assigned to the particular customer so it has taken uh, the first letter of the first name and first letter of the last name as this particular uh, customer id and maybe certain number is being given a random number maybe after each and every consumer the number is being generated so uh, any of the number which is generated at the time of login it has been given to the consumer id so this is the process through which the customer id is being generated whatever like we have the customer id and through which we can see uh, what all customers are there different types of customers are there although there can be the names similar but we can get with the help of customer id the different customers okay all right or the unique customers so another we have the customer names which we already studied that the customer is recognized by his name and each and every unique customer is recognized by the customer's id although the name can be similar or the surname can be similar but customer id cannot be so the unique person has a unique id all right coming up to the segment section and this segment is like what type of customer it is it is or like the product which has been ordered is it ordered by a consumer for the last consume or it is used as a capital as a home office or it is used as a capital again for the corporate one so this is a segment through which we can observe here what kind of product is being like given or been ordered by which segment mostly so another column we have a country into it so uh, although we can see there is only one country that is united states of america the where where the superstore is been situated we can observe here only one data point which is repeated all over the data set okay coming to the next column we have a city where uh, this particular cities are located in the country that is united states the different cities we have through which the particular product is being ordered so uh, similar kind of uh, data we have in a state we have city and we have country so these are the longitudes and latitudes although we don't have but we have uh, the states and city and the country names through which we can easily identify where they are situated if we uh, like if we are uh, this particular power bi software is not able to identify where this particular uh, city or state has been situated then in that case we have to 
write down manually the longitude and latitude of each and every city or write a proper name if it has been changed like uh, sometimes happens if the city or the uh, state names is been changed and it has not been updated in this particular software then it happens like we have to type manually the previous name then it would be able to recognize it because sometimes it happens the updates won't be like uh, instantly update these updates won't be instantly reflected into your systems so it requires time and uh, we hopefully get the proper answer by typing it manually by just type the longitude and latitude or write the previous names when it is not able to find by itself okay so coming to the next part next column we have postal codes so it, where uh, the parcel needs to be delivered there means uh, we have a postal code or zip code we can say where it should be delivered and next we have column that is region so region all the states so we have multiple states california florida we have north carolina we have washington texas these states there are maybe 50 states all together and these states where these states are located the region so it is in the west or it is in the south or it is in the central or it is in the uh, north anyway like we can just find out the regions why it is necessary to segregate each and every region because peoples are associated with the regions so the persons who are handling these countries or these states are none other than these four peoples so these four peoples are responsible for they may be a managers of this particular regions and so we have certain column into the order section okay so we have this section so these four peoples are managing these seals into this region okay so uh, coming to the next column we have a product id what kind of product is being ordered so we have a furniture and uh, it is a kind of books so we have a bo and uh, maybe a certain number is given to that particular books cases so uh, uh, this particular product id is being taken a sample we can say here as we are in the learning phase so we can observe this particular id is taken as a sample it is not a genuine one but we have a category we have a furniture and in this category we have a sub category it is a kind of uh, hierarchy which is uh, the topmost is category and at the category we have sub category so in the furniture category, we have bookcases, the where the books are being kept, the case of book, where it has a product name as Brush Somerset Collection. Sorry, it is not brush, it is a Bush Somerset Collection bookcases. So the bookcase name is Bush Somerset Collection. So this is a product name comes under the subcategory of bookcases and this bookcases is a part of a category furniture and this particular product is given a certain id in the product id so each and every if the another consumer is buying that product the same product id would repeat but with a different customer id and even if we have same uh, consumer name although we have a different consumer uh, ids okay and each and every order is being unique as we can observe there is a row id so row id is different so we would see that each and every row would be identified uniquely okay 
coming to the next column we have sales as the next column what is a sales we already know that by the word that it is observed that 261.96 rupees of sales is been done and how much quantity is been observed we can see two quantities that means two products are been purchased of the bookcases and what kind of discount is been given no discount is not given so although we have a sale and we have got a profit as well so profit is of 41.9136 rupees so we can see sales quantity discount profit in the numeric data and we can see here all other columns we can observe that living row id we have alpha numeric or we have date format data or we have a geographical indication other than this we won't have so we can observe it easily so this kind of data would be represented we'll see how it is been represented we'll just click on orders and click on load so we would be redirected to the canvas where we are going to plot the graphs so in the right hand side of mine i can see the data is being getting loaded and i would be easily able to access them from the right side of my screen so it it is taking a time to load all the 9994 rows and it has been loaded right now okay so i have order sheet which i have been selected i'll just click on this arrow so i can observe all the categories or all the measures or all the columns which i have been discussing with you previously is been observed in the right side so i can easily drag and drop on the sheet wherever i be i require that particular feet okay so this you can observe that category city country custom id customer name which we discussed previously that all the categorical values are not having any of the symbol but we can observe that there is a numeric column discount which is observed here we can observe a summation symbol for the date kind of data we can observe the calendar symbol for again profit we can observe the summation symbol and other than this we are not like we can't see any other symbol so this is like the ability of the power bi it automatically detects what kind of data is present in a particular column so if it is a similar kind of data in a column what if it is a numbers only if it is decimals only it detects that it is a kind of only the numeric data if it is only the date it would detect that it is a kind of only a calendar that is a date type of data and we can observe here it has created a hierarchy it has it is like business intelligence tool it has so much intelligence that each and every section he has created that it uh the proper format we can observe year quarters months day so this is a hierarchy date hierarchy we just have given the date kind of data which we observed during the shipping date and order date so it has created 
the hierarchy or the date as a hierarchy okay all right so this is a section of data and next comes the section of visualization and in the visualization this is a favorite part of mine and where we can observe there are 32 charts present into this section and this section would be useful for creating a visualization so what all visualization we can create we have multiple charts like uh, we have stack bar chart we have stack bar stack column chart we have cluster bar chart we have cluster column chart multiple charts we have we have ribbon charts we have tree chart we have donut chart we have pie chart we have scatter chart multiple types of charts are there if i just click on any of the symbol i can be able to create any of the chart you can see so this is a sim uh, we can say a uh, kind of a symbol what kind of chart i can create so if I just click on any of the symbol, I would be able to create any of the chart which it belongs to. Okay, so next comes the filter. So filter is used to filter out the data. We'll easily understand whenever we use it. So uh, like we use it with a T to stain the tea powder. Uh, like the filter it has been applied that is to stain out the prop the hard or the coarse part of the tea and only the liquid should be kept into the cup so uh, like we observe it while drinking the tea so this kind of filtering the unwanted part we don't want that only the needed part or the crucial part if we want that we can observe and we can keep into the data how it is possible with the help of filter so as i said it is uh, we can say it is a stain where the symbol is also of a stain and which is used to filter out the data as per our need we have to just place any of the column or any of the categorical or any of the uh, data which we want to filter out so if i just place any of the categorical value into the filter position it would be filtered accordingly like basic filtering would be observed we have three types there are advanced filtering top and so if i want only top or if i just want from the bottom so i can able to filter all my data to uh, to again or uh, extract the information out of it okay so uh, we'll study it more in detail in the in the further classes we'll just observe or we'll just explore all the components which is offered by the power bi so right now i would just not use any of the filter i'll just close it right now and we have many more components over here if i want to save my document or if i just want to save the power bi uh, dashboard or power bi file i just i'll just click on the save button and give my file a name and it would be saved wherever you place the location if i just click on any of the location and click on drop down i would be able to replace this location with the more options okay and it is saved as a pbix that is extension for the power bi file so as of now, I would not save any of the file. I just cancel it. So 
this is observed in three phases the particular canvas where i can visualize i can easily able to create a presentation so this particular option is called as report view presentation view or a report view so this is a view i can easily see my data with the help of graphical representation and another view is a table view which we had previously we have discussed discussed previously that each and every column would be displayed into the table format and we have the model view as of now this model view is not connected to any of the another sheets or they don't have any other relation with the sheets so currently only one table is there therefore uh, the relation is not observed so if i just click on the peoples and uh, returns also they then only we can observe the proper relationships okay so we were into the report view where we can easily drag and drop each and every category into this section to observe the visualization so what you would say that what is this visuals like what is the report view what is called as report so report is a uh, interactive or we can say that a responsive images it responsive graphical images if i just place the category into the values i can observe here automatically the power bi has created a table so it is a kind of a table data table chart we can observe so if i just click on the sales as well if i take measure as well into this column i can take with the help of dragging and dropping or i can select any of the column with the help of this check box so i can observe here the category and sales of each and every category so if i just remove the categories i can observe total sales okay so total sales is been observed into the table so if i want to bifurcate the sales i can click on the category as superstore provided only three categories i can see total sales contributed by each and every category so this is how like uh, it can automatically selects any of the chart if you don't want to uh, if you are into the confusion or if you don't remember what a uh, kind of thing you should do or when should you should select a particular chart so uh, let the power bi select for you you can just click on any of the column and uh, the power bi would be intellectually select whatever chart is uh, feasible or whatever chart is suitable for that particular uh, categories it would create for you okay so uh, this is a report view this is a report view this is a table view and this is a model view we just observed this and coming to the next part that is cut copy format painter so format painter is used to copy the all formats of text color style anything uh, like all the formatting options if you have selected the any of the style of a text or size of the text or color of the text or the background color of the text all things it would copy and paste to your particular text or a new text which you have selected so this is a useful option format painter and cut and copy is used to cut and paste the visual so uh, we have already discussed about what is get 
data get data is here option again if i want to select any of the another column or any other uh, table as well if i'm working on this data and if in case i require any other particular uh, data or particular an another table i can get that table as well into this so it performs the data integration process we we can see if the data is from sql if the data is from excel it, if the data is from any other file or it is in the it is from the data source like a web source it is so i can integrate three of them with the help of get data here so i can get that particular table as well so uh, this is a shortcut for excel and uh, these are the formats through which i can get the data okay so uh, another option we have is transforming a data so any of the formatting changes if we need so as of now we have a clean data set so there is no any uh, requirement of changing the tr or transforming the data because the date is in a proper format or there are no any missing values present or we can say uh, if there is a requirement of capitalization or uh, any of the character is small letter and any of the we can say it is in a capital or a small so there is no any kind of changing a data but if it is there we have to learn about transforming data so we would also learn about the how to transform the data in further sessions also so another option we have refreshing option and refresh is used whenever like the data is being stored if the data is being stored in your desktop and if you update the data the excel or any of the csv file it is present in the desktop and if you update it if you add certain more records into it so this particular records which you have added newly should also reflect into this particular dashboard so this refresh options uh, uh, this particular option helps in retrieving that data as well so uh, the pre processing is done in the transforming the data and refresh or getting the new data or the edit which is been done into that particular data or table is accessed with the help of refresh okay coming to the next part that is insertion so insertion includes new visual with the help of new visual you can easily access the new visualization or with the help of visualization we can see here in the right side i can select manually which kind of a chart i want to select manually i can select any of the one another thing we have is a text box so text box is used to represent a text type of data if i want to type anything manually i'll just click on the text box and write here whatever i want okay so it is a power bi session going on so i'll just write here i can edit it i can re resize it as per my visibility i can change the font so this is how like i can create a text manually which is not there in the data okay so this would help us in inserting the data which manually if i want to write okay so in the more visuals we have options like if there is a file of uh, any of the chart which is offered by any of the organization uh while if i'm paying that particular organization to that chart they provide a crack version of it and i'm able to access that file so that can be import imported into the visualization 
this particular application and can be used for visualization. So another thing in the calculation part, we have a new measure. So this new measure is a kind of a calculations which can be observed or we can create a tax expressions. So uh, to calculate the particular things or we have if we want to create a functions or kind of syntax if I want to create to find out certain things or filtering out the data, writing out certain M functions to observe or to get an extract value from the data. So if I just click on the new measure, I can observe here the new field has been created to create a function. So here I can see that another option is there quick measure. So if I just click on quick measure, it is a kind of AI tool which is able to detect what columns are there into my data set and what calculations you would need if in case it is being uh, like it is a AI tool and it observes everything and learns from the data. It has been already learned what type of data needs what cal calculation. So this kind of quick measure would create or suggest any of the questions or in creates or writes any of the functions or syntax which is related to the data set. So if I just click on select calculations, so it detects all the calculation or all the numeric type of data that is uh, average per category, max per category, minimum per category, weightage average per category. So filters, it applies time intelligence, it applies, applies, we can say totals, it can apply mathematical options we have. So another, we can see here, there is a suggestion with a co-pilot mode and this requires a signing in and which also we can write it manually a prompt what all things we can write. So it is a kind of question and answer. If I just write it manually, what I want, uh, any uh, like it is a prompt, any of the text based uh, generative AI, we can see, uh, we can observe that if I just write any of the query, it gives a prompt. So kind of that questions we can apply into it and it suggests uh, the particular or it creates that particular um, calculated measure for us to extract the data. Okay, so coming to the next, we have at the home screen, we can able to publish our data on the Power BI service and we would be able to show all or showcase all the things to the uh, stakeholders or the CEOs, whoever has the access of the Power BI service desktop and they are able to send their visualizations or the insights to the managers or business analysts or whoever has been access. So in the publishing part, we can uh, see here that uh, if it is a paid version, we can able to share or the this service, Power BI service observe that we can able to share to the stakeholders or the managers and we if we use the free version, it is published publicly and the version is uh, like we can download it. All overall, we can see here the visualizations we have saw and we would be uh, see we would be exploring all the options in next video. Thank you for watching.